work as hard as you can, push yourself to limits. No one just turns up to the gym and is an absolute animal. Um, you've got to develop it. And having that self-belief that you can achieve anything if you, if you work towards it and you dedicate a lot of time, you can achieve anything you want to, you want to achieve in life. I was very overweight, I was very self-conscious, didn't like the way I looked, I hated exercise. I'd have McDonald's four or five times a week. I remember I'd go to KFC on my own and order a family bucket of KFC and just eat all the skin and leave all the chicken. Yeah, I just literally loved junk food. I have to sacrifice going out for, for meals with friends because I want to stay on my nutrition track. Um, I've got to sacrifice just going to a friend's house because I might have to get in bed for a certain time and so I get my nine hours sleep so I can train the next day. I've got to train four and a half hours, four hours a day and that takes a lot of sacrifice to be able to, to be in the right condition to be able to do that. Belief is something that is so important. I've always had a very strong belief that I can one day compete at the CrossFit Games. Failure is something everyone goes through. Um, I've been through lots of failures in my CrossFit career. One was last year, I was very close to, to qualifying for the CrossFit Games last year and there was one workout that cost me that spot. Everyone's going to have failures but it's how you learn from them and how you progress from them that, that makes the difference. So you should never be scared of failure, you've just got to be willing to learn from, from the failures that you have in life. You never want to be last in anything you do but I think that's a natural part of life and you are going to come last in, in certain aspects of life but I think you can learn a lot from coming last in, in anything and you've got to use, use that and learn from it. I remember lots of times at school, if we had swimming lessons, I'd try and fake or I had a cold or something, so I didn't have to go swimming to take my top off. Um, I remember lots of times being at home, if my parents had friends around, I'd always run upstairs and just kind of hide away if I had my top off because I was so embarrassed of how I looked. Very overweight, not confident in my own body. I remember my dad was trying to get me to lose weight for many years and my mum was always like, oh, he's fine, he's perfect, like I could never do anything wrong in my mum's eyes. And then my dad said, um, we'll give you a goal to work towards, and if you do it, we'll get you the PlayStation 2 that you've always wanted. So I really wanted the PlayStation 2 at the time, so I was like, right, I'm just gonna eat a little bit less junk, and I reckon the weight will, will drop off, so. After, the, after a month, um, we weighed myself, lost some weight. I can't remember how much weight I lost, but I felt really good and proud of myself because it was the first time I'd ever set a goal and then worked towards it and achieved it. I was starting to like the way I looked because I looked a little bit less overweight, so I was wearing different clothes, I was getting a little bit more confident in my body. So that was like the, the kickstart to my fitness journey. It's really important to, to set goals put things in place to achieve those goals and then tick them along the way. And I think once you achieve the little goals, it really gives you a massive confident boost, it keeps you motivated and it makes you feel extremely proud and it doesn't let you get stale because you're always achieving a goal, feeling great about yourself and then work towards the next goal. I'll put markers that, I, that I'm aiming towards to tick off and it's just, it's just a little little mental trick that if you're doing a 10 round workout, 10 rounds seems a lot and you think, God, if I do 10 rounds of this workout, it's gonna take forever. But if, if you just take one round at a time, do one round to get off, then I'm just thinking about the next round to get off. You're kind of breaking the workout down instead of just seeing it as a 10 round kind of whole workout. So mentally, it's, it's a lot easier. I say this to everyone is to make sure you enjoy the process and to run your own race. So I mean by that is, when I was on my fitness journey and to lose the weight, I lost it. Um, it was a long process, but that was right for me. But someone might see me doing crazy amount of ring muscle ups, um, doing the amount of volume I'm doing every single day, twice a day, and they might want to jump into that straight away. Whereas that's been an eight year process for me to be able to get to that point. You're just seeing the end result of eight years of hard work. And I always just say, you've got to run your own race. I've been doing this for eight years. I could never have done this eight years ago. I've had to build up to this workload and I've had to get my body conditioned to it. I didn't just jump straight into it. It's, it's taken seven, eight years. You've got to run your own race. You've got to be willing to put the time into to the process. Day in, day out, even if you're doing pull-ups instead of ring muscle, that, that doesn't matter. You just know one day you'll build up to that level that, that I'm at. 
um, and you've got to most importantly enjoy the process and make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. So on my fitness journey, the PlayStation 2 was what first got me into it and that was that first goal that I worked towards, but I didn't really get into the, the fitness industry and really start enjoying it until I wanted to do it for myself. So that external goal was, was great, but once I got it, I kind of, I could have easily have just said, oh, I'm just gonna go back to eating again because I needed something else for someone to give me to work towards. Some people are just are born with a strong mentality, but then it's also something you can you can develop throughout your career. So I definitely wasn't as mentally strong as I am now seven years ago, just because that everyday pursuit of coming into the gym, working as hard as you can, pushing yourself to limits, that resilience and strong mindset is definitely something you can you can work on. And I think it's an element of fitness that I think a lot of people don't focus too much on because you could have exactly the same athletes, fitness-wise, strength-wise, but if one's mentally stronger and willing to go into those dark places, they're gonna do better in CrossFit than the other one. So it's definitely something you should focus on and you should spend time developing that strong mindset. And it's just that mental strength to be able to keep pushing every single time you come into the gym and not letting yourself slack during your sessions. So I could easily come into the gym, pick an easy rep scheme, complete it super easy, and then go home and just carry on like that. Whereas me mentally, I'm always trying to progress and I'm always trying to push my limits. I always have to do an extra rep somewhere or do something a little bit faster. And I think that that's just something that's built inside me that definitely helps within CrossFit and definitely helps you go to those dark places. But it's definitely something I've developed over the years. So it's definitely something you can work on. No one just turns up to the gym as an absolute animal. Um, you've got to develop it, and that's the that goes for the same with your mental attitude as well. Shoot for the moon, because even if you miss, you'll be amongst the stars. So I remember having that on my goals board, and that to me means aim aim so high that even if you don't get to that point, you've achieved so much getting to that point. So. If some people are, are quite scared to aim high and they just set low goals because they just want to make sure 100% they achieve it, then they'll achieve it, but then they could have missed out on so many other areas in life or so many other opportunities because they were, they were a bit scared to aim that high because they might not have achieved it. So I've always been, like I said, in 2013 when I first saw um, the CrossFit Games, straight away I said, I want to compete at the CrossFit Games. Whereas a lot of people could have said, right, I just want to compete at a local comp but I wanted to set my goals so high that all that journey leading up to that would have led to so many different opportunities and so many career options. Um, and I was never scared to, to set that goal and never scared to not achieve it because I knew even if I didn't achieve it, there was lots of, lots of goals I would have ticked off along the journey. Um, so yeah, I think that motto is always something that I live, live by um, and I'm very fortunate to achieve the goal that I, I set all those seven years ago. Thank you for watching guys. A massive thank you to Zach and Zach's gym, Be Fit and Gym in Leicester. The link is in the description and if you want to follow Zach, head over to his Instagram. Again, I'll put a link below. Yeah, if you want to see the behind the scenes of this video and previous videos, check out our vlog channel. And if you want to see the full interview of Zach, then go to our interview channel, link in description. And also, if you want to support projects like this in the future, please consider becoming a YouTube member at Mulligan Brothers. And also, you can check out some of our merch, like the hardest worker in the room, We've got the Mulligan Brothers t-shirt, and also we've just had another thing, t-shirt drop called Heavy Metal, really cool design. All of them will be posted below. As always, have a blessed and productive day. Peace.